This video will be covering how to install Eternity Tools on Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2's latest version. This particular tutorial is meant to be very quick and condensed. So pay attention as close as you can. First of all, download Eternity Tools from the Video Game Mods website. A link will also be provided in the description. If all you're looking to do is download and install mods, then I would recommend simply just downloading Xenoverse 2 Patcher, click the button, and XVINS, click the download button. So now, go to where you downloaded the tools and open up Xenoverse 2 Patcher using WinRAR or 7-Zip if you don't have those already. Now, you're going to want to head on over to Steam itself. Right-click on Xenoverse 2, click Properties, Installed Files, Browse, and it will take you straight to the Xenoverse 2 directory. Now, simply just drag and drop bin and xv2 patcher into the Xenoverse 2 directory. If it asks you to replace something, then say yes and replace it. The final important step is to go to Easy Anti Cheat and rename Easy Anti Cheat x64.ell to anything. So I will literally name it anything. This disables Easy Anti Cheat. Now, if you want to play online with friends, although I will not be covering that in this video, there is something Eternity provides which will allow you to do so. However, Let's check to see if we got everything working in the first place. So, just to let you know, your modded game is going to be ran from Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, bin, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2.exe, not start. So, let's just double click that and see. If everything has worked properly, then you should see a screen like this. So, you can see in the bottom right corner, it actually shows Xenoverse 2 patcher, and it says the game was started without EAC. Multiplayer matches will not be possible, meaning everything was installed correctly, at least for the patcher itself. So now, we're going to go back to our downloaded files, and this time, we're opening Xenoverse 2 INS. And we're going to actually extract this somewhere we can find it. By default, it will make a path in Downloads, but I'm putting it somewhere a little less cluttered for me. Let's top XV2 INS. Hit OK. And now, if I go to Desktop, folder I made is there. These are your tools and what you're going to be using to install mods is this xv2ins.exe. So what you'll see when you first open the program may be a little bit different from what I'll first see when I open the program in this footage. Either way as long as you don't get an error message and you are very being clearly told what you need to do just get past these prompts select the options that are best for you especially if you had a previously modded game. So it will ask you to clear installation if necessary. Do that. Do everything it's asking of you. And you'll be able to get to your Xenoverse program. So now that the mod installer is up and running, you can install your first mod. Just keep in mind to look at the descriptions of certain mods. Because there are mods that don't just use the mods installer. Or can be installed in different types of ways. Finally, something which is optional but I still think is important for everyone to know about. Is the Xenoverse 2 patcher's any file. This can be opened with the standard Windows text editor. There are two relevant things it does. It re-enables Easy Anti-Cheat, allowing you to play online with friends, and it allows you to unlock all characters and stages. For the characters and stages, you will go to Unlock Kara All False and change that to True. And same thing with Unlock Stage All False. Change that to True for the online play. You're going to want to control F, air, excessive air contamination, change that to true. Whatever edits you did, save it. So that's it. I made this tutorial to be a quick demonstration on how to get the Xenoverse 2 mods installer up and running after multiple requests. If you have a request for a tutorial you would like to see, tell me. This has been Jack Keck. Peace out.